What's up guys, CodeMonkey99 here with you today, uh, showing you a little laser drill tutorial. Um, right now you can see that I'm processing a ton of ores from my laser drill. I had uh, like 7,000 backed up, so uh, it's slowly going through it and processing it, turning it all into its uh, better forms that's actually usable to us. So as you can see, there's a laser drill here, and it's really simple to set up. All you need is a laser drill precharger, which can go on each side of it, inside of the actual laser drill itself, which is right there, <laughs> as you can see in the middle. It's right there, and it goes straight down to bedrock. It has to be touching bedrock or the void. The laser that it emits down has to touch bedrock or the void and it can take up to four laser drill pre-chargers and it has an interface where you can see it's, it's, it's getting energy but it's going through it so fast that you know <laughs> it's yeah it's interesting <laughs> um, so it's it's pretty simple to set up as you can see but you can also get them in giant arrays which I'll take you and show you my giant arrays of fun filled laser drilling orb miners <laughs> uh, so, as you can see, this is my processing plant for everything. You can see all my little tubes that lead everywhere and make everything. It's really quite compact compared to uh, the other persons that we have. It's uh, pretty darn small and easy and simple to get through. So, um, here is one of the laser drill farms. As you can see, we have bedrock here because I... Uh, traded uh, I think uh, 200 diamond each for one block of bedrock so yeah it's expensive to get bedrock on the server but that's okay so now I got it and I just set up uh, these laser drills and then eventually they mined away enough for me to afford this one over here and all these just go through up and through Tesseracts which is up there which just teleports it back to the uh, original place these are my two small ones and then I have my large one out here as we could see it uh, it is the uh, big one that's for sure and it's constantly mining for me uh, we'll uh, try to get over there do I have any blocks with me? I do not have any blocks I'm going to mine up a few blocks real quick um, <laughs> alright there we go um, just place this right here, here, there we go, call it good. Um, as you can see, it's working, and it has all these sources, and these freaking creative energy cells cost us 400 diamond each. That's a lot of diamond here. <laughs> uh, alright, as soon as it hits 300, usually all these send off at right about the same time. Yep, and then as we'll see, we'll go it up through there, and then they'll all go through the Tesseract. And then that's how I get my ores. I don't have to do any mining, don't have to set up any quarries, just have it running through these laser drills and laser drill pre-chargers, and it makes all my ores. Now, I, I don't mine a single quarry, nothing. And um, I'll go ahead and show you the uh, other person's base that uh, I'm like, connected I'm with. Um, he's over, we have a meeting point, we have our own little island. And uh, this is where my old control panel used to be, and now this only stores all my cobble. Um, anyways, um, portal. Oh, he got the portal out of this house. That's okay. Um, he's not far. Yeah, he was pulling a prank with sheep earlier, so he got rid of the portal because he kept teleporting sheep all the way through his, through the portal to his house. So, as we come up here, we can, uh, start to see his little interesting spherish house. <laughs> And I help him build, and uh, as you can see, his uh, controller went out again. He did. I don't know why, but it keeps breaking out on him. I might work on that for him. Um, this should be this should be the one to take us. Yeah, this is his little mining facility. But as you can see, he has ores glitching everywhere and stuff like that. But he's using all these laser drills. And uh, he just took a loan out from me, and he'll pay me back with the diamond. And, uh, yeah. I have uh, more set up than he does, but uh, his facility is more compact in a way, but his sorting system is not. He, he has a weird sorting system. And he crafts all his cobblestone into weird little compact cobblestones that we use to uh, go to the end. So, 
Uh, those are the two little simple pre-charger, laser pre-chargers. It's really easy to do and it pays off dramatically in the end. I'm not going to mess with his ME controller because he's not here. Um, but it's, it's, it's quite simple and it pays off big time in the long run. And you don't need those infinite energy sources. It will take any kind of energy, whether you use NJ, EU, RF, anything. It will take anything and just really make a difference. Um, yeah, it's it's worth it, and you yeah you don't have to buy bedrock or anything. You can just dig it down to bedrock like the first few I had over there was. So I think that's about it today, and um, hopefully getting another episode out soon that uh, has more helpful tips and tricks. All right, this is Code Monkey ninety nine signing out. Bye.